Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, the Mad Kai Get. And up here today with another big mail day video I have in here. There should be about 30. These are all going to be war movies. I paid like um, £7 for these on eBay uh, and like £5 delivery. So it worked out about just under about £12. So these should all be war movies and uh, yeah, a bit of a mail day. Yeah. Seem to be getting a lot of these big boxes of stuff lately. Um, I do like war movies. I love me some good old action and war. There's some classics in here. There's some more ones that I've never heard of. So yeah, continue on with this. Open it up. Come in a nice big package here. Nicely packaged. So I appreciate that. I always do appreciate um, decent packaging. I've still got my Mafia um, one coming uh soon i'm hoping it will turn up no my luck it will turn up tomorrow but there we go it's nicely packaged the person did a good job of doing that all packaged so we're going to go in here and take a look there's only one in here that i already have um but it has a slip cover which i don't have so i appreciate that we put some stuff on there um so let's start off first up we have ninth company just want to check the quality of this and yeah the the quality of the disc, there are no scratches on there whatsoever. It's really good. Um, so we have Ninth Company. Looks like uh, post-Russian... Uh, something to do with like post-Russian. I think it's more like a Russian one. Looks pretty cool. If you've seen any of these movies, let me know in the comments below. Are they any good? Because I don't think I've seen any of these movies with the exception of Downfall. Then we have Intimate Enemies, single disc edition here. Um, an eye-opening journey into the heart of Oft Forgotten War. Again, check the disc. Again, almost perfect condition these are. These are just amazing. Really appreciate this person. Uh, this one takes place in 1959. French thing looks sort of gritty for sure foreign uh, film maybe French film maybe yeah this is French in French audio uh, hopefully it has subtitles I'm assuming it will it's pretty cool then we have Massacre at My Life 4 one on the Vietnam War this is an 18 I imagine it's going to be very gritty and dark. yeah just perfect condition is this these look like they've never even been watched that's amazing uh, comes with some special features on here. This one looks like it's going to be very bloody and stuff. I love me some violence in my films. Again, war films should, uh, shouldn't really shy away. Um, I, I have a lot of memories of watching old war films with my granddad and stuff back in the day. Uh, then we have Salvador. Uh, oh, this one's uh, Jim Belushi. semi de El Salvador. 1980. I think this one's also called... Uh, Cold War and it comes with a, it even comes with a little uh, booklet, very cool, again perfect condition, just amazing condition, this is probably one of the best um, box sets I've had in terms of condition wise, oh that's pretty cool, I'm gonna lie, then we have uh, The Trench, Daniel Craig's in this one, James Bond of course, uh, this one's uh, World War One. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Not not many World War One films out there. A lot of films are more World War Two. That looks pretty cool. I'm gonna lie. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty awesome. Then we have Casualties of War. Sean Penn, Michael J. Fox. So it's like um, another Vietnam one. Yeah, just perfect condition. This is awesome. I ain't gonna lie, man. And the cases are just like like new, basically. That is so cool. Um, can't wait to check these out. Then we have Downfall. I already have Downfall um, anyway, but I don't have the slip cover for it. So I might keep this one and sell my other one. Um, oh, this is the two disc set. I don't have the one that I've got. It's a two disc set. This movie is actually really good. This basically is a movie about um, Hitler's final moment and some people didn't really Germany like they didn't like the idea of Hitler being sort of shown off in a non 
hate like they didn't like the idea of Hitler not being shown as a bad guy um, but this is a great movie Bruno Ganz was amazing as Hitler this is one of the best movies about Hitler you'll ever watch a really powerful movie of course it's all memes now with the uh, you know the Hitler memes when he's on the phone and it's talking to Michael Jackson stuff but this is a great movie highly recommend it then we have back on the front line Ross Kemp there were a couple of Ross Kemp ones here um, I remember these back on Sky One back in the day I never actually watched any of them um, but they're basically documentaries he did a bunch of these ones with gangs, ones with war, um, I think Ross Kemp was uh, also, I believe Ross Kemp played someone in EastEnders or Coronation Street, one or the other, I think he played Grant, I, I could be wrong, um, but yeah, Ross Kemp, I don't know if he played Grant, I, mean, I don't know who he played, but I know he was in one of them, then we have a classic, good morning Vietnam, uh, Robin Williams, Ah, oh, this is the remastered edition, new bonus footage. Oh, wow, it even comes with a nice thick booklet in here as well. Pretty cool. Again, this is like new. These are just amazing condition. This one's got a little bit of dirt on there, but nothing that won't come off. Classic film here, Good Morning Vietnam, Robin Williams. Love Robin Williams, amazing actor. Gone well before his time, unfortunately. Then we have This Is War, uh, this looks like uh, sort of more modern I think, I don't know, Baghdad, yeah something to do with Baghdad, again pretty cool stuff, yep again amazing condition. Then we have Born on the 4th of July, Tom Cruise. Um, I've heard this is a pretty good movie as well. Vietnam War. Love, um, there's a bunch. I, I like most war films. That's funny colour for a disc, sort of brownish there. Hoping it will work. Should work. Can't see why any of these won't. Then we have, ah, oh, that's pretty awesome. We have Three Kings. Uh, ice tubes in this one this is a another classic part of the essential war condition uh, collection comes in a nice uh, outer slip case again these are just like new I, I just can't believe how good condition you because when you buy stuff on ebay you you know you you can look at the pictures and sometimes they don't always show but wow i, I i'm so impressed then you have chris ryan's um elite police Two hours special edition. This is um I'm I'm guessing this is sort of like um a documentary kind of thing. Again with war. Chris Ryan was an SAS soldier. Pretty cool. Sort of more real life events. Um I'm excited for this one. This one I'm excited for is the um the uh, World War, Second World War in Colour. I believe I actually had this on VHS back in the day. Um, I love, this is part of the uh, Carlton DVD uh, video line. This was awesome. Uh, how long is this one? 165 minutes approximately. Again, sort of more documentary style. I remember watching this back in the day. I think I watched some of it. I can't remember. Then we have the 39th Battalion. Um, this one looks like it's something to do with the World War Two in Japan. Yep, Japanese, which is pretty cool because most war films it's always about Nazis. Um, World War Two is always about Nazis, so it's good that they've done one with Japan. Um, one thing I do want movie I do want to check out is a movie about the um unit. I think it's seven four one or something like that. It's about these things that happened in China. The Japanese did all these experiments in China. And there's a bunch of movies based on them that are really gritty and dark. Um, then we have Kevin, Kevin Costner's 13 Days. Uh, this one looks like it's something to do more with uh, the military. Uh, John F. Kennedy, stuff like that. Yeah, this one looks like it's going to be sort of more um, to do with like the Cold War missiles and things. Then we have Joan of Arc, The Messenger. This this is technically a war movie. I don't know if I class this as war or fantasy movie, but pretty cool. Sort of medieval, uh, the Hundred Year War. 
thing here, language is English and German. That looks pretty cool. Definitely uh, give that one a watch. 151 minutes, quite a long film. Then we have Our War. Um, another documentary, BBC one. Pretty cool. More documentary ones there. Then we have uh, Passchendaele. Uh, I believe this is, yep, Flanders, the Battle of Flanders from 1917, another World War One film. Definitely will be checking these out for sure, because I love me some good war films. Uh, and then we have a, a Lawrence of Arabia, a classic, if there ever was one, two disc set, classic Lawrence of Arabia. This movie, what can you say about Lawrence of Arabia? That hasn't already been said. Classic film right there, and I didn't have it. Said the only one that I had in all of this was Downfall. Uh, then we have Armadillo. It's like a uh, Camp Armadillo. I'm not sure if this is a uh, Vietnam guerrilla warfare. I don't know. Um, but it's pretty cool. Definitely be checking that one out. I'll be checking all these ones out, and I will do reviews on them when I've watched them. Then we have Buffon. Uh, based on the novel, what's this one, 2000 Lebanon. Then we have uh, Hamburger Hill, uh, another Vietnam War one, looks like it's going to be very detailed and very violent and intense. Gotta love movies that don't shy away, because when you do a war film, you've you got to show the grittiness of war. Ah, oh, nice. And then we have another thick one here. We have Master and Commander from the Far Side of the World, Russell Crowe. This one looks sort of like, um, yeah, it looks like ships and things. Looks like a more sort of um, pirate themed style one or that sort of thing. It's a two disc set. That's pretty cool. Some bonus features on there. Bunch of bonus features on there. That's awesome. I like Russell Crowe as an actor. I think he's a pretty good actor. And we have Ross Kemp in Afghanistan. Two disc set. Again, you know, it, uh, Ross Kemp does uh, did a lot of these real like gritty ones and things. So, oh, I didn't even realise there was another one. <laughs> uh, then we have another classic. Here we have... Part of the Silver Collection, All Cry on the Western Front. This is another classic one. World War One film. I know that one of the All Cry on the Western Front, I think it was the original version, was very gritty and very dark. There was an original one from back in like the 1920s or something, which was a very dark film for its time. Uh, then we have Heaven and Earth. Uh, Tommy Lee Jones in this one. Uh, again... Looks like it might be some sort of like, um, it's definitely a, a Vietnam one, but it looks like there might be some sort of romance going on there to do with, uh, yeah, something to do with like a villagers. And then the other Ross Kemp returned to Afghanistan. I guess he uh, went to Afghanistan twice. And then last but not least, we have Hearts in Minds. Um... Another Vietnam War one by the looks of it. So there's definitely a bunch of Vietnam War films here as well. So all in all, 30 or so um, war films. And these are just in amazing condition. There's a, There may be a little bit of dirt on some of them. But otherwise, these are just in perfect condition. I, I'm, I'm impressed. Um, and I really appreciate these people who sell on eBay and take good care of their things. Um, like I said, all of them I, I haven't got. I mean, I've, I've got downfall, but I'll probably keep this version because it's in great condition. Um, and I might do a giveaway for the other one. Um, again, I haven't seen any of these films with the exception of downfall. But I don't think I actually even watched downfall all the way through. I think I watched it in school. So, yeah, I haven't seen any of these. Definitely will be checking them out. Some, it's a nice bit of variety here. got some World War One films. Vietnam, World War Two, some classics, some documentaries, some modern war stuff, some older war stuff, you know, that one. And I'm impressed. I'm very impressed with this. Um, honestly, I appreciate, you know, I mean, the price was right. 
<laughs> so yeah, um, if you've seen any of these films, definitely let me know in the comments below. Are they any good um, and stuff like that. I'm going to be playing some Red Dead Redemption 2 now. Um, I've already beaten this game, but I've uh, got an app on my phone that shows me where everything is. So that's what I've been doing is just going around and getting all of the items and all of the treasures and doing all of... Basically trying 100% it. Um, I don't normally 100% games, but I like Red Dead Redemption 2, so I wanted to try and get everything in it. Um, I was meant to play it last night with my friend on a stream, but he didn't install it. He said, oh, it's not installed. So we played some Call of Duty Zombies. So there is a stream up from yesterday of some Call of Duty Zombies. We did the new map, uh, How I the Totem. And I was actually quite impressed with that map. It was pretty fun. Reminded me of like the old school zombie maps, actually. Not overly complicated. Um, but anyway... So if you enjoyed today's video, feel free to leave a like and of course comment below. Let me know if there are any war movies here that you've seen. Do you enjoy war movies? What are some of your favourite war movies? Um, again, what, do, you, do you like war films? Don't you like war films? Let me know. And as always, uh, subscribe if you haven't already and join the family. And as always guys, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Twitch and eBay store. All of my channel links and... Have a nice day and I will see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.